Well, hello there, my little netherlings. How goes it? How goes it? Welcome in. Welcome in. How are you all today? Hello. Hello. Come on in. Come on in. Aren't I looking, aren't I looking especially good today? Right? 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 Uh, with <laughs> apron. Apron. The apron. The apron. <laughs> okay. First of all, before we start, a huge, huge thank you to Switch P for the apron, okay? This was an amazing asset given to them, uh, given to me by them on Twitter. They're awesome. They're also linked in the description. Check them out, okay? Do you love my new apron? I love it. I love it. Look at it. <laughs> it was originally made for the baking stream, but because of the way things shaked out, I was like, oh, oh, this could work as like a little barista apron as well, you know? You know? You know, you know, so I can be like, you know, <clears throat> hi there, my name's Zanny. Welcome to Incubox. <laughs> uh, love that. Good morning, all of you. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm doing wonderfully. Doing wonderfully. Uh... Oh, fan art. Oh, you know, feel free to post it. Go for it. Go for it. Like, I, yeah, heck yeah. I love seeing what people do. I hope you're all doing wonderfully. Today, we're playing a game that I've really, really wanted to play, which is Coffee Talk. I've never played it before, but apparently it's just my vibe. And a lot of people were excited for this. And I, I even got a little apron for it. The, the, the little apron. <laughs> But I hope you're doing wonderfully. Minecraft yesterday was a trip. I actually needed to like unwind from it. And then I got to crash Gale's stream when the stream wasn't crashing <laughs> itself. And it was cool. It was really, really cool. Really, really cool. And obviously, you know, uh, I've, I've now got a bunch of stuff for next week. Shut up now. So tee -hee 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 -hee. I'm kind of excited. I'm excited. I've got some cool stuff happening. And there's a sequel to this game that just came out. Like or is coming out, shall come out, it, 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 sequel happening, which is cool, I can do that. Like, it, not going to lie, we picked the perfect time to get into this game, it's so good, it's so good. <laughs> oh, but, but, I hope you're all doing wonderfully, I am, I had a restful little sleep. I managed to do some of my, my, uh, my Polish language homework, in case anyone doesn't know, I'm studying Polish. I was studying the differences between the old tem, ta, and to in uh, the Polish dialect, which is essentially a this, this is, and there is, or etc. It's essentially a tense. Oh, Sarah Kula, thank you for the super. Thank you so, so much. Morning, Xander. Happy to see you. Have a good day. You too, you too, you too. Have a wonderful day. I hope that you really, really have like some great energy with you today, and I'm wishing you all the best. But yeah, it was that and learning colors. I'm terrible at learning. I'm I'm terrible at learning. But you know what? I figured I want to talk to my friends in Eastern Europe in a way that, like, you know, is, like, cooler. So I was like, let's try it. Let's try it. So <clears throat> without further ado, serious stream time. <clears throat> let's step over to, to Coffee Talk, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Episode 2 is already out. That's it. It just came out. It just came out really recently. Right, get, come on, come on. Get over to the full screen gaming screen. Come on, over here. Over here. Get in. Get in. Get in. Okay. And now we, we, we turn on the desktop audio and we should be able to do like this and this and this. Okay. Okay. I think you guys see that. You do. You do. That's great. I love that for us. All right. How's the volume, everyone? How's the volume? Someone let me know how the volume is. How's the volume? Is the mix okay? Am I am I am I legible? Is it good? Are we doing good with the volume? It's good. It's good. I got the thumbs up. I got the thumbs up. Wonderful. Ooh, ooh. This music's a vibe. I like this. Does anyone else like this background music? Oh, oh. Cozy vibes. I like this. It's chill. All right. Is Xander correct? Okay. It's a little quiet. Let me nudge it. Let me nudge it a little, a little tiny touch. Just up to there. There we go. Xander. Just a tiny little bit up. Just a, just a little bit. Like a half a smidge. Half a notch. Just a little nudge. Just a... Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. 
Let's go. Hey, coffee talk. Playing coffee talk. It gives me like persona vibes. Does anyone else get the persona vibe? Like the, the, the cafe thing. I feel like I'm about to, you know, we're about to start hearing the, as I think, you know, the, oh, oh, here we go. Where have you been? I've been searching all around. I've been facing twilight on my own. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The velvet sign The way you brush my neck The bitter question to the end Is how I know Cause I'm a shapeshifter At this masquerade That one. Feel that? Feel that? Alright, let's play the game. Seattle, 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. I'm not going to acknowledge the TSKR, we're going to keep going. Because if I do, I'll start getting emotional. Uh, and I can't have that this early in the stream, we're not even past the 10 minute mark. <laughs> uh, a city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the great war between races is all but a footnote in history. Oh goodness. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. But still, it's a place and a time where anything can happen. Writing in game design. Oh, oh. It's a time when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. Oh, we've got fantasy. Oh, I love that. I love modern fantasy. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. Oh, good on the orcs. Good on the orcs. You did so good. Take our love. Fine. <laughs> Fine, I'll take all the love you can offer me and every bit that's left over. <laughs> and when humans live among them as driven as ever, it's a city that holds as many dreams and stories of its people. Most of these stories are left untold. But so few find solace in the embrace of their bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. Also, this is like a visual novel game, so I get to do my voice acty stuff for you, which makes me really happy, because that's one of my things and I like it. <laughs> in one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. Ozaki, <laughs> thank you for the super. <laughs> we love your voices, Danny, don't deny that. Oh, I know you do, I know you do. <laughs> Thank you so much, though. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's something that I love, and I'd love to take further one day. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Dun dun. I also brought coffee with me, so I figured that what we could do is we could all have coffee together while playing Coffee Talk. So it could be like coffee on coffee on coffee, you know? We're like, we're like coffee on coffee. <laughs> September 22nd. Xander, welcome. Oh, it's you. Hey, Xander. How's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Uh-huh. Oh, it happened. My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve up the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer, after all. Don't worry. Take your time. Do I own my own coffee shop? Do I own? That's cool if I own this. I've always, that would be so cool. I'd love to own my own coffee shop. I'm a writer, not an editor. You write too? I'm so used to taking things slow. <laughs> Writer's block again. You got that right. What are you writing about now? 
Do you remember my plan to... Oop. Sorry, hold that thought, hold that thought. We've just got something, something with the steamer. Ah, pardon the interruption. Uh, the machine's ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? <laughs> Business owner, Zanny. <laughs> yes, please. And if you forgot how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. Okay, we're going with the triple shot espresso. Let's go. We're going with coffee. Uh, phone. How do I check? Okay. Whip out the phone. Brew pad. Nice. I think triple shot espresso should be coffee, 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 shouldn't it? Uh, espresso. Black. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Yeah. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. coffee. Per perfect. I know how to make stuff. Ooh. Oh, I love the sliding panels. This is so beautiful. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer. <laughs> mm, that aroma. Uh, you enjoy that drink, okay? Okay, it looks like you've earned it. <laughs> exactly what I need. Anyway, where were we? Uh, your plan to do uh, something. Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know? But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? A memoir? A... What can I do for you? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you have your job. In case things go awry. <laughs> uh, what did I... Did, 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 did I say something funny? No, you're right. You said something I should have thought about myself. Uh, what are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? Uh, GRA Media? GRA Media? Damn. Yeah, they're also the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. And what do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. Oh, natural. Oh, nice. So naturally, I pitched my book ideas. And say say something. Don't keep me waiting in suspense. I got my little apron on and everything for this. <laughs> the chat just having a let's go lesbians moment. Let's go lesbians. Oh, come on. Don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories. So he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. Let's go. Let's go. That sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? Can you can you juggle uh, both your, your, your past job and your present? That's the hard part. I'd been secretly working on the novel during office hours. And I'm falling behind on the newspaper deadlines. Oh, if the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. And also, that was last week. Oh, so you've got three weeks? Or two weeks? Th three weeks or two weeks? Again, don't look at me like that. How, how, how far along are you? Hey, Kiwi! Thank you for the super. Much love. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Much love, Kiwi. How, how far along are you? Uh, <laughs> I assume the number of words you've written is not too far from zero? Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, well, it was so bad that I, after reading it... I decided to just delete everything immediately. Oh, no, don't do that as a writer. Never do that as a writer. Never, 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 never. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know how many of you are writers here, but even if you write something and you think it's hot garbage, garbage, never delete it. Put it in another file, tuck it away somewhere. There is still stuff to glean from your trash. Okay, okay. I don't know who needs to know that, but never delete everything or I will shake you so hard your brain will rattle.
So... Zero. Uh, I really needed to refinish it. Fin uh, I really needed to finish it at most two weeks. And then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Okay, sounds like a plan. If you can pull off writing an entire novel in two weeks. I know, I know, you don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know? Really? Well, I'm glad that my little cafe could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. You have to hold that thought. Who have we got today? Is that a tiefling? Is that a tiefling? Well, it doesn't. It doesn't. Doesn't my doesn't doesn't my bar just happen to pull all the cuties? Let's go, let's go. Why hello there, uh, hello there. I understand that you're interested in some coffee this evening. I am your barista. My name is Zander Netherbrand, and I am more than happy to oblige. <laughs> uh, welcome. Ah, uh, hi there. Uh, hello. Uh, good evening. Uh, for here, miss. Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. So definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. Good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Something chocolatey. Something with chocolate. Anything with chocolate in it. Okay, I, I hear you. Then let's go with... You don't want that, so let's go with... Uh, let's, let's just have a little look up on the brew pad. I'm thinking no coffee, so we're going... Uh, chocolate... Uh, dark hot chocolate. Or we could go with... Uh, what if we tried, like... Because that's like matcha, isn't it? I think that's green tea? Oh, wait. Reset, reset. We'll go with just chocolate, chocolate, milk. What if we went with like a milky hot chocolate for her? Let's try that. Hey, Glizzy Lord, thank you for the Glizzy. <laughs> Let's give it a milk. Oh, latte art. Oh, there's latte art. <laughs> <laughs> There's latte art. I want a latte art so bad. <gasps> oh. And then we did. Oh, what if we um we do this? Is, is this this is how we latte art? We go eh. Um, I think I messed that up a little bit. Uh, we'll go like this. Here, and then etch to go. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, etching so hard. Etching so hard. Okay, yeah, no, no, that just uh, that just looks like I've done something unspeakable to to her cup. Um, yeah, no, let, let, let's just serve it. <laughs> if you could reset IRL, one uh, one cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. So warm. So you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, he should be here soon. <laughs> Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. We need to normalize that. Normalize all night coffee shops again. Normalize that. Because if there was an all night coffee shop near where I lived, I would live there. I would frequent there. I would be there till 5am in the morning. Because I just have to stay up and drink normal coffee in my home. Like a normal person. I would... I, I I would spend all my time in this midnight coffee shop. 
Right. And you could meet other night owls, and you could sit together, and you could talk, and you could be like, hi, and there could be all of this thing, and it could, there could be wind, and you could talk, and what we could do is we could be sitting there, and then we could end up having to share seats with the two of us, and we could work on our laptops side by side, and then we could suddenly strike up a conversation, and the two of us could end up being really close friends, and we could develop something from there, and it'd be really, really, really cute. Okay, good. <sighs> because it's the only coffee shop that still opens past midnight, it's mostly empty. <laughs> now that you mention it... Is it good for business, having the coffee shop only open at night? <laughs> Definitely not. Yep, won't she said. Then, why? <laughs> I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running a coffee shop like this? I like her voice. I think it's the blazer that's giving her me that voice for her. She's like a little bit more business, so she has like a she speaks a little more from the chest, whereas whereas our, our compadre over here with the green hair is like a little bit more energetic. She's a little bit more artistic, so I made her a touch more nasally. That is a secret. Xander here is damn rich. That's the secret. I'm I am. I am. No, really. She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Xander can manage. Now I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll still have your weird quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. <laughs> I'm a writer who works best at night in a coffee shop. So, not many options for that. No, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. Your intuition is scary. My intuition's not scary. It is. Um, it is. You can find some of her stories in the evening whispers. She's really good. Sh shut up! Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people in town, and it is that kind of thing. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short story. I'm just saying, these two would be cute together. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Oh, thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then here you are, ready to write a new piece. I, I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. <gasps> okay. <gasps> Damn. Okay, is that the boyfriend? Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. <gasps> Hello, elf man. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. Uh, what kind of... What? She took the words out of my mouth. Oh, what kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. <laughs> Do you have any preferences? Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on the top too. Oh no. Oh no. All right. I will right, we'll go with double chocolate or double coffee, a little bit of milk. Because we're going for all the bitter. Then we'll throw on some latte art. Okay. Okay. We've got this. We're going. We're going with this. Okay. This is how we. This is how we do latte art. Okay, let me try that again. Not gonna lie, kind of weird how my broski was doing latte art last night and now I'm here doing latte art again. All right, there we go. Okay, okay, that's a good start. That's a good start. And now... Okay, that works.
that's that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, maybe if I just add a thing of milk here and a little here, maybe like two lines, and then I etch it a little more. Oh, I've so got this. Oh, oh, I've so got this. I'm not just a, I'm not just a sex demon. I'm a latte art demon. Let's, let's try that. Here, here's your order. <laughs> Is this what you call latte art? Um, that's cute. That's funny. Would you like to drink it or wear it? Perfect. <laughs> anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. <sighs> it's okay, Baileys. I was having a nice drink and chat with them. Now, yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name's Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. <laughs> nice to meet both of you. I'm Xander. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? No, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you're in contact with Steve? Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? No, he isn't. <laughs> but I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Uh, yeah, I'm glad he's in the designs and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> Come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Yeah, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always someone, there's always another layer of hell. <laughs> oh, darling, darling, let me tell you about that one. Let me tell you about that one. I'm going to assume that I'm in canon and actual incubus in this, and that's what we're going to go with. The only bad customers this late at night are mostly drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. No, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. Not as good with your coffee making skill, though. <laughs> Thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. Uh, you're welcome. Anyways, I need to start writing. Uh, whatever it is that I'm gonna write. <laughs> so I'll leave you two. I don't know why I'm voicing Freya as constantly somewhat nervous, but I feel like with the deadline hanging over her head, she's at least got a nervous edge to her. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Who are you going to ride? No, uh, not far. Oh, where are you going to ride, sorry? Just over at the table in the corner. Lua, why are you so interested where Freya's going, huh? Uh, next to the windows. That's my spot. No, okay. Have fun. <laughs> I'll try. This game's awesome so far. This is really fun. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. This game is really fun. I'm waiting for things to do, like have a sudden switch up, you know? Should we move to other seats too? Nah, here is good. Okay then. So, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. And I was finishing my proposal early so I could get out of the car office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. And I thought your boss was always a happy-to-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? I, mm, I don't know why, but like, I'm, I'm still like sussing the dynamic between these two, and I can't quite pin it down, you know? I, I can't quite pin down the dynamic between, between Bailey's and, and Lua. I can't, you know? I I don't know what vibes Bailey's gives off. 
And I, I, Lua's vibes, she gives me kind of like very much woman in charge vibes, right? And and I don't know why, but Bailey seems to give me like boy failure vibes. He gives me like boy failure, like preppy boy failure vibes. Yeah, this one's a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me one bit. I think it's the scarf that does it. <laughs> you should make a meme about her. And lose my current project for a minute of laughter. <laughs> Might be worth it. You should ask Xander here how to deal with annoying clients. Oh, yeah. How do you normally deal with annoying customers? The ones that you don't need your fists to take care of. I have my own methods. Exactly. We have our own methods, don't we? Don't we? Don't we? Club Netherbrand has a way of dealing with those who are of a poor variety, a poor sort. Ill temperament, we would say. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. <laughs> now, that's a good lesson for the day. Ooh. Uh, Lua. L L are you just ignoring the phone? Your parents? Yeah. Oh, is there drama here? <gasps> Relationship drama? So you've talked to them. I did. Did it end well? No. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. We've got we've got we've got some lure law here. Alright. I'm just going to be sat back here a little bit, just like cleaning imagine me here, just like gently cleaning a mug. And just listening to what's going on. We're going with bartender Zanny. So, 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 tell me your problems. Tell, let me, let me hear what they have to say. A lot. They won't give us a chance at all. Oh, oh, is that a racial thing? Because he's an elf and she's a tiefling. Is it a? Is it a? Ra I, I don't. I don't want to. Mm, I don't want to make the assumption, but that might explain it. Anyone but an elf. Oh, oh, Lua. Lua. Anyone but an elf. Oh. That's what they said. How about you? <laughs> More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. But that's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? <gasps> you don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. And I can't stand even one more second of being a part of them. Okay, I'm rooting for these two now. Okay, I take back everything that I said. I take back everything that I said. I'm rooting for these two. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still, I, you know what they said about you last night? I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my my race, I assume. Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures. About immortality. About how even if I outlive you. <gasps> I'm sorry, is the infernal in the room? Please finish that sentence. As a fellow infernal, please finish that sentence. Please. Please finish that sentence. What? Nothing. No, Bailey. You don't get to... No, Baileys. You don't get to... About if, how if you outlive me? No other elves would want to be with an... No other elves would want to be with an elf. That's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. Oh, you're a succubus. I thought you were a tiefling. All right, let's go, sis. Hello. Now I see why you picked this place. All right. That's exactly what they said. So, this is it then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been without them knowing. And then what? 
Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'm glad to serve my family, sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. This is really heavy for me as a barista. I I know I'm the incubus here, but this is really heavy for a first conversation with these two. I, th I, feel, I feel like the third wheel in my own cafe. I... I don't mind a bit. You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy with where you're going with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this. Together. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait! I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. Hey, 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 trust me, trust me. Dude, trust me, okay? Listen, 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 pointy, okay? From, a, from an incubus to an elf about a succubus. Give her a little bit of time, okay? Give her a little bit of time. The love story arc of Cass and Zaddy in a game. <laughs> oh, thank you, Shadow Aisha. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> oh, goodness. We're getting a... This is the coffee shop AU I was talking about. This is the coffee shop. This is literally the Avalon coffee shop AU. That's all right. The coffee shop's seen all kinds of stories. I hope yours will have a happy ending. I hope so, too. Do you have anything alcoholic? Sadly, no. If it... But, uh, we don't. I, I, I could Irish the coffee if you needed it. <laughs> that's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like a green tea latte? Green tea latte. Green tea lattes? I'll take one. <laughs> yeah, the elf likes green. This is Cass. Why is this the this little bitch is Cass? Okay, like I kid you not. Loves green tea. Like is I, like elfy boy. Okay. Strangely smug. Green tea. Two parts green tea, one part milk, considering he likes the bitter. We'll give him two parts green tea, one tart, part milk, and we'll give him a little bit of latte art as well, because... You know... Wait, 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 reset it, reset it. I, I, that was a bad start. Uh... Why is latte art so hard? Oh, do I have to be fast? Hwa, 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 hwa. Um, let's, let's try it like this. Um, and then I etch. No, 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 that's too hard. Uh, you know, uh, let's just, let's, let's do this. Uh, uh, there you go. That's latte art. Here's your order. Uh, this is the weirdest green tea latte I've ever seen. It won't be enough to make my day any worse, though. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. Wait, what is in a green tea latte? Oh, green tea milk milk, not green tea green tea milk. Oh. Uh, let me make another for you. Uh, no need, I'm fine with this. And by the way, are you married? Me? No, no. 
<laughs> no, I could never be married, sir. I don't know. Maybe I could be. I don't know. I guess I could see that someday. Do you have someone you love? Ah, not right now. I love the coffee shop, but that's about it. No, oh, and my netherlings, but that's about it. I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all the people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? Uh, you can't choose who you fall in love with. <laughs> you can if you try hard enough. At least, that's what my old man said. He really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Oh, that's me. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. Anyway, I need to go now. And probably drink myself under until the sun rises. There's still a while for that. <laughs> More time for me to drink, then. See you around. And see you too, Miss Freya. Thank you, and do visit again. Support for Barista Zander Latte Artist Nether Brand. <laughs> hey, Asquad, thank you for the super. Thank you so much. Hey, blessed. I am, you can tell I'm the best latte artist. Freya, okay, Freya. I know this is totally inappropriate of me to say, but that drama there is perfect for your book. Okay, don't look, don't look all traumatized. What you just had there was free fodder for the book. You were listening from the corner, right? Yeah. Poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Yeah, me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close the shop up after this. That's pretty early. I know, I know, but after the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay, have a good night then. You too, Freya. Go, go be safe. Walk, be safe walking home as well. It's late. Okay. Oh, what? STMJ. A warm booster made of uh, susu, telia, and madu, and jahi, ginger. Uh, so that'd be milk, egg, honey, and from Indonesia. Hey, let's go. Also, shout out my Indonesian viewers, okay? Since since we've got the STMJ here, shout out my Indonesian Indonesian viewers. I know I've got a bunch of people who watch from Indonesia, so shout out you guys. September 23rd, 2020. Can I just say this alternative universe 2020 still beats the real 2020. <laughs> oh. Actually, no. I, I love how I say that shit and then the headlines, Zombie virus from Africa may have reached Seattle. Fuck me. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I take it back. Fuck. Oh. I summoned it. <laughs> Why did I do that? Seattle groceries, distribution problems harm local restaurants, fire plans to enforce stricter regulations to manage illegal immigration. Damn. Me from Africa, already a zombie. Good evening. Good gracious, you've got some energy to you. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you can't just enter like a normal customer. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm so excited to share this with you. Oh, what are you talking about? Come on, Freya. What's Freya's deal? Freya's got something good going on, right, Jack? Right? She's got some good vibes. What's up? I know what to write for my novel. <gasps> yes, what's she writing? What's she writing? Is this one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, okay. Just tell me. What are you going to write about? This coffee shop. Okay. Okay, not quite the answer what I was that I was waiting for, but What? I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come in here. 
Are you for real? Yes! What if I said you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. That's kind of like a breach of the customer's personal lives, don't you think? Just a touch? Maybe? Just, just a tiny bit? Relax, I know that. I just need some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I see here. Uh, how loosely based are we talking? Like, because I'm not having you, you, uh, Freya. Listen, listen. You're you're a wonderful person. Okay, you got a, you got a great haircut. You've got very pretty eyes. Okay, but I'm not letting this place be turned into a drama alert center for you. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Knife Walker, a novel versus movie level, loosely based. The old one? Of course, I'm talking about the old one. Hmm. That's already very different, you know. And you can't get more different than that. I mean, it's not like I can tell you not to write about a coffee shop, right? No, you can't. Although, you can just ban me from coming. Okay, you're banned. <laughs> you're banned. Get gone. You're gone. You're banned. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me, though. Anyway. Now I'm really excited to see who's gonna come tonight. I wonder what kind of stories they'll have. Alright, get in the corner, then. Get writing. Go on. Good, good evening, y'all. Good evening to you, officer. Hey, Pop. It seems like you're in high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. And please, Sandra, no need to be formal with me. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. We're both on duty here. Hence the formalities. <laughs> You're as stiff as ever. Anyway, I have a shift tonight. So I'll need the usual. Uh, you have all the ingredients today? Yes, I do. Yes, I have not everything. What? Why am I so poor? Georgie, my man? This dude looks, looks kind of tense. He needs to relax. He needs a green tea or something. Uh, not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for tea. I'm out of tea. You still remember my favorite, right? A coffee with a hint of sweetness. You got it right. Okay, make sure you use milk. Milk, okay. Coffee with a hint of sweetness and some milk. Ugh. Thanks to your Tomodachi profile, everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. And anyway, cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. All right, all right, so let's just... Wait, wait, Tomodachi? Wait, 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 we've got social media? Wait, what? Oh, what? Friends only, close friends only. Fre Everyone has socials. Oh, let's go. Who's Gala? All right, let's keep an eye out for Gala. Look at this dude. Dude. Dude, bro has the standing man emoji shoulders. He does, he does. Bruh, look at that. Look at that Lua. Okay, yeah, no. Yeah, no, I don't know what else I expected from Lua. Lua's great, I love her. All right. Sweet, healthy coffee. So we'll go with coffee. Milk. I mean, sweet, healthy coffee. I, hmm. I think that would be it, right? Just coffee and milk. One cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. And he wants the sweetness to come from... Oh, we need it. A... No, reset, reset. He wants... Let me just check this. Let me check this. Uh, let me check this. I need to know this. Uh, so the usual. Still remember my favorite. Coffee with a hint of sweetness. Make sure not to use milk. Not to use milk. Oh, oh, we're not using milk. Okay, okay, we've got this now. We've got this. coffee, honey. Coffee. 
Mm. What? He said a hint of sweetness. He said a hint of sweetness. Fuck it, we'll double honey him. We'll double honey. Honey coffee. We'll give him honey coffee, see if that works for him. Coffee with honey for the man on duty. This good? Oh, yes! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Not everyone can manage this combination as well as you. Thank you. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. Provide me with the service like you've gave the old pop here, please. What are you having? Uh, you still need to ask, huh? Listen, triple shot espresso. Let me guess, triple shot espresso? Espresso, of course. The one and only espresso. Triple shot espresso, as usual. A starless night for the green-haired fairy. <laughs> I'm not even sure whether that's a compliment or not. This is perfect. Yeah, we know her. We we know her regular order. We know her regular order. Let's go. Let's go. We're so good. We're so good, everyone. So, how's things going at the paper, Miss Freya? As usual. Awful. <laughs> She's making a risky deal with her boss. I, oh, also, I have coffee here myself, in case you guys uh, are drinking coffee alongside the clientele. Let me just num num num. Oh. There we go. Ooh. I love drinking coffee on stream because it keeps me peppy like, like nothing else. Ooh. She's making a risky deal with her boss. Yeah, pretty much. What kind of deal? Possibly life-altering deal. A very dangerous one at that. Okay. A deal she regretted. Let me just say, our fairy is currently in, uh, is currently enjoying a plate of spaghetti, of re regretty spaghetti. Not that much. Not that much. Okay. Folks, seriously. Care to share the details properly? You tell him. Why am I the storyteller here? You're meant to be the bloody writer out of the two of us. Madam! She's secretly using her working hours to do something else. Something like writing her own novel. You got balls? I can tell you that. She does, she does. Gee, thank you. Now's the leap of faith going so far. It's not slowing down, that's for sure. And I haven't seen any haystacks to fall into. Good luck with that. <laughs> Don't worry, she's not losing her job yet. Her life will be pretty hard if she messes things up, though. <laughs> thank you for the reminder. So yeah, as Xander said, my editor-in-chief doesn't know about it yet, but my novel's gonna be published by our parent company anyway. So technically, I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed if she finds out, though. Wait, is stealing a time a crime? Technically, I might have to arrest you. I, hush, 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 Georgie, don't be what it, don't, don't be, don't, don't be like that. Hey, you do it all the time, too. I, those are just coffee breaks. <laughs> Sometimes they might take a little longer than they mean to. But still, coffee breaks. Uh, you're making me feel worse by saying that. You should feel bad. Yeah, stop adding salt to the wound, okay? These two are cute. I like, I like the dynamic they have. I wonder if this is like all of the regulars have different dynamics with each other. I'm now realizing that Georgie's so much shorter than... So much shorter than Freya. <laughs> I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not. But if your writing career goes up in flames, the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. Just don't mention that you like to do other things during work hours. 
<sighs> I wanted to say thanks, but I feel like I should be offended. I'm sure you'll do just fine, Miss Freya. Do you have any idea what you're gonna write? I have actually. Okay, these are... What are you gonna write? What are you gonna write? What will it be about? A coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. Right, okay, cool, cool, cool. You're letting her do that? Eh, uh, there's no stopping her. Please don't write about any shady looking police officers who love to take breaks more than they should inside the coffee shop near their actual post. <laughs> I will definitely write about that officer. He'll make a good comedic character. Was that a compliment or are you making fun of me? Every everyone has such good banter here. This is like such good nether brand atmosphere. I love this. I would call that a compliment. Is it? I don't think so. Hey, what do you have against me tonight? Xander's probably worried about losing customers due to breach of privacy. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not like I'll be using real names. And I'll dramatize most of the things I've heard, of course. That's even worse. Here's the thing. The stories I've heard, they'll only be inspiration for what I write. Uh, by the way, as someone stationed here, I assume you've heard a lot of stories from the people around here, right? Stop fishing. Stop fishing, Freya. Actual cringe. No. Oh, come on. No. No, 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 no. Oh, you helped me once with one of the stories I wrote for the paper? The one about the secretly rich beggar hanging out around the block? I'm sure you can give me other interesting tips. Writers like her are painful, and For real, for real, she's one of those writers. It's like, tell me about your childhood traumas, they'd be good in a character. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, or am I? Kind of. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, or am I not? <sighs> Oof. I've helped you more than once, actually. Oh, what, really? Now it's my turn to say, come on. Oh, which stories are you talking about? You've asked for information about the busker, the one who's always playing his guitar, always got a rose with him. Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah, poor guy. Hearing about your girlfriend passing during an investigation is... <gasps> oh! I don't know. It's hard. He took it quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least you gave him closure. He never complained that you used a story for the paper. I got his blessing before giving it to the editors. Well, at least he's become more popular since the article was published. More income for someone in his line of work. <gasps> wait! Wait! Is that... Is that... That could be Gala, right? Are they talking about Gala? Born and raised in Seattle, a Seattle lactose intolerant cop. Freya. Journalist, short story writer. Oh, they've okay. They've increased my access to their Tomodachi life as well because we've become better friends. More income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, the roses become some kind of some kind of prop for him now. Anyway, I'm back to the topic. It's not gala. Okay, safe, safe. Any hot tips? Okay. Have you heard about this one girl? Ooh, tell me, tell me. Lately, this girl's been coming to a coffee shop in the area more than others. She's pretty weird, I don't know what her deal is. But she's bright green hair. Oh, come on! I was so excited to hear about something real. Uh, you think you're not real? Wow, that went deep fast. Faster than my career going downhill. Hey, what's with the sudden mood shift? Yeah, cheer up. Ugh. Sorry, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. By the way, what's the- why this coffee shop? Um, because I spend a lot of my time here, I guess. Okay, 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 okay. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying, but, but... Something tells me it's deeper than that. And there's this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday. Mm-hmm. What about them? They're going through a pretty hard time together. Okay, I feel so, I feel so much now for for both uh, Lua and Bailey's. I feel so much for the two of them. They, they, you know, they're going through it. You know, different races, different cultures, families don't approve. And when I heard their story, I kind of felt their pain. 
and what's happening to them happens to a lot of people. I mean, it's been told in fictional form countless times before, but it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are they regulars here? Nope. The girl visited this place before, and if I'm not mistaken, she was with her co-workers or clients, but that's about it. She was helping her friends sober up, I guess. <laughs> you gave people coffee to sober up? Of course not. Some folks request coffee, but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them tea, hot chocolate, or just plain water. Well, that's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. I've already got the wrong order once. Good for you. Anyway, look at the time. Time for my shift. Oh, yeah, go on and do your job, old man. And don't forget to share anything interesting you hear with me. Yeah, let's not make this a habit. I can't promise that. Okay, then. See you later, everyone. Take care, officer. Later. Alright. Alright, we're good. We're good. There he goes. We've lost... We've lost him. We need one more. I think I need to get back to my writing. Alright, shoo, shoo. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So I'll move to my usual corner. Alright, to the corner with you. To the corner with you. Good luck with the writing. And don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take, take this glass of water. Mm. You're the best, Xander. I know, I know I'm the best. Now get out of here. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Go on, get out. Alright, to the world of imagination I go. Go on. I love how... I love how you need to, like, forcefully get her to leave. I, I, hello. Hi there. Hello. <laughs> ah, that should do for the experiment. Oh, someone's coming. Is it a new person? Do we get... Oh! <gasps> Who is this person? Who are these people? Hi. Welcome, Mr. Gala. Mm. Oh, I, what's his voice? Hi, Xander. Somewhere. Somewhere. Mm. Where, where, where am I feeling his voice? Thinking it's somewhere by there, there, there. Hmm. Where is it? It's not quite. It's close. <clears throat> hey, Xander. There we go. Can we sit here? A sure thing, sir. <gasps> Who is this dude? Is this the place you recommended? What? You don't like it? It's fine. I know it's not like the coffee shops you're used to in L.A., but... Gala, it's fine. Uh... Uh... I, I'm sorry not to... So, sorry to interrupt. Do, do you want to order anything? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Wait. What do you want to drink? You first. Okay... Anything with coffee and ginger, please. Alright, coffee. Ginger. Anything with coffee and ginger. Let's give him coffee, ginger, splash of milk. A ginger latte. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Is that Lucian Nanaris of FSP's first generation Avalon? Your order's ready, sir. <gasps> Look at his big hands! The, the cup looks so tiny in his big hands. And about you, sir? What would you like to order? Is it good? I, I like it. Not sure if it'll be to your liking or not. Okay. I'll have whatever he's having. Alright. Coffee, ginger, milk, brew. You're having a ginger latte. Like, literally has the Lucy hair. Alright, let's serve this up. Here's your order. Huh. Good choice. Anyway, how's the town treating you so far? Same old. I was surprised to see so many changes in just a few years, though. <laughs> yeah, things changed a lot around here in just 20 years. Even this coffee shop. I believe it was a bar back then. When did you open this coffee shop? I, I opened around six years ago, uh, Mr... Hyde. My name is Hyde. Uh, from what I gather, you're from L.A., right? Explains the haircut. 
I am. I used to live here decades ago, though. Are you like a vampire? What are you? Are you a vampire? Oh, what brings you back to Seattle? I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. Size difference tag. <laughs> vampire and werewolf. Oh! Oh, is it? Is it vampire and werewolf? Oh! <gasps> Wait. Wait, hide. And Gala. He travels a lot. I see. You two have known each other a long time, I assume? You could say that. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, they're not. They're not. Yeah, I think we met not too long after you got married, right? It was around the 60s, I believe. Wow, long time ago. Not for our kind. Wait, if I'm not mistaken. <gasps> the peace treaty between werewolves and vampires. It is Twilight. It was signed in... 1865. So when you guys said you met in the 60s... Were you talking about the 1860s? Are they awkwardly blinking at each other? <laughs> No, we met in the 1960s. <sighs> We're old by some racist standards, but not that old. Although, it is still fair to say we haven't seen each other in a long time. <gasps> okay, but like, not gonna lie, Gala gives me Gale energy. I guess 20 years is a long time. This was the place, wasn't it? Where we first met. Yeah, when it was a bar. They moved. Bankrupt. Ah, uh, such a pity. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh... Uh, literally, why are we serving Gale and Lucy? Why are we serving Gale and Lucy? Uh, you're happy the bar closed down? Uh, what's with the smile, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, nothing. I was just wondering. Will history repeat itself? Ah! Uh, I certainly hope not! I've been coming to your place since it first opened. You got something special here. Won't close down anytime soon. Thank you, Mr. Gala. They're going to jump Zanny and kick him out? No, they're not! They're not gonna kick me out, okay? They're not. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Busy at work? Kinda. With the news that that newfound virus going viral, the hospital's been extremely crowded. You're a doctor? Oh. Oh. Interesting. So you're a doctor and you're also not with Hyde. Interesting. 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 Very interesting. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, you were saying, Doctor, that that virus is dangerous. Uh, no one's sure about that. But most people who come in are just... I don't want to use this word, but they're just paranoid. You're still doing the same job as in the hospital? What was it called? The admissions officer. And yes, I'm still in a hospital admission officer there. They should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and long service. And they offered me a managerial position. But I declined. I prefer doing this. Huh. To each their own. Okay, okay. I, I don't know about chat, but I'm kind of feeling Gala. I'm kind of feeling Gala. Anyway, I was wondering... Do they still sell legal blood at your hospital? They do. Although people don't need to visit the hospital direct anymore. They can just order through that blood marketplace app. Are you still talking about Bloodlast? Uh-huh. Bloodlast get their supply from the hospital? 
They can't certify blood on their own. Only hospitals in the Ministry of Health can do that. So they're just middlemen with a lot of sales promos. You use it often? Not really. I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle, remember? V- What? Wait, a vegan vampire? He's- He- He is the vegan. We have found the true sexy vegan. Okay, let's go. But I do know the founder of that startup. Oh yeah, how's the vegan diet going? It's not easy, but nothing I can't conquer. Excuse me for asking, but by going vegan, do you not drink blood? And not real blood. Synthetic blood. Sy synthetic blood? It'd be complicated to explain. But basically, some scientists are working to make some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind. Without relying on real blood. Considering real blood has some cultural and health concerns. I... I... I mean, does it taste the same, dude? Uh, more or less, yeah. Isn't it expensive? It is. I can afford it, though. But again, they're still working on it. Trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Hmm. Would synthetic blood taste good? Mixed with other ingredients? Why? You want to start selling blood-based drinks? It might attract new customers. And turn off others. Fair point. Honestly, I don't know if mixing would taste good. Most vampires prefer drinking raw blood. Although, some do try experimenting with... other things. Okay, but when you're immortal, okay, it's only natural that you start to experiment with things. Like, honestly? Honestly, okay? When you're, when you're, when you're immortal, when you're a certain level of immortality, okay? Like, it's why all vampires give kind of low-key, you know, certain, certain vibes. You get bored, so you try and, you try and experiment with new things, you know? Uh, those can be lattes, or, or food, or other things, you know? Other, other things? Mostly booze. But, just, I know, some mix it with not-so-legal substances. <laughs> you know a lot. I work in a hospital, remember? That talking about my vegan lifestyle reminded me to ask you something. About what? Your monthly fury. Oh! <gasps> uh, found a less painful method to restrain yourself? Not yet. But I do know that it's a drink. What kind of drink? A certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Is that why you ordered... <gasps> Monthly Fury, you say? Ao? 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 Yeah, I'm exploring possibilities, but this drink wasn't the one. I guess there's too much caffeine and coffee for it to be the remedy. Why don't you use the Fury sedative available on the market? I don't trust them. Fair. Besides, that sedative is too general. Each of us have our own remedy that we need to find. And sometimes the effectiveness can change as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? Enough to calm me down, and that's all I need, to be honest. Well, at least your calming method is only a drink. I heard some werewolves need to do... Hyde, please finish that sentence. Finish that sentence, or I swear I will come at you with a UV light. <laughs> ah, kinky stuff to soothe themselves during their fury. <laughs> we're, oh, we're, we're actually... Oh, it's the conversation topic. Let's go. Let's go. What kind of kinky? Like BDSM. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> that only happens in prawn. Can't say that word on stream. <laughs> Wait, what? It's famous among our kind. You don't have to feel ashamed if you like watching that kind of thing, you know? Uh, a friend told me about it. Well, he was pulling your leg. Damn. I mean, having sex with a calming method is pretty common. But normally we stick to vanilla stuff. Come to think of it, it would be pretty brutal, doing bondage stuff during fury. <laughs> I mean... I mean... 
Okay, but chat, chat, no, I'll try anything once. <laughs> chat, no, I try, I try anything once. Exactly, exactly. So, continuing with the story. How far along are you in finding the ingredients for the remedy? So far, and all I know is that it involves ginger. And probably something lightly caffeinated. Like tea. You better write that down. You won't want him wreaking havoc in the coffee shop. Uh, we don't have any tea today, but I could give you I could give you green tea. The next time you're visiting. Maybe I can try brewing the remedy for you. That that's you fruity. Seriously, seriously. I'm getting that like question mark rainbow flag vibe for the two of these. That would mean a lot. Excuse me for a moment. No, I'm sorry, I have to go now. There's an emergency at the hospital. I think I'll go back now as well. We can share a cab. Alright. Thank you for the drink. I'll probably visit this coffee shop again before I go back. I'll see you around. Thanks for coming. And take care on your way home. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Those two just being like, yo. Yo. Oh, okay. I love how, how, like... Hyde is just like, yeah, no. Some werewolves, you know, to calm down, they might want to shuffle your spine like a deck of cards. D nice one. Thanks, Hyde. <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> oh. Are you done with your writing for tonight? <laughs> Kinda. Those two guys, they kind of remind me of a video I saw online. Oh, not you too, Freya. Not you too, Freya. <laughs> I'd prefer it if you didn't start fantasizing. Freya, keep your yaoi in the corner, okay? It's a video of a wolf pup playing with a baby tiger. It's nice to see friendships that grow in unlikely circumstances. Oh, that video. What? What video did you think I was talking about? Well, one of a werewolf shuffling someone's spine like a deck of cards, like I just said. You know? Oh, never mind. You? I was just joking. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I. No, I wasn't. I wasn't joking. You all know I wasn't joking. You all know I wasn't joking. Okay. If if that stuff was real, I'd watch it. <laughs> Please, I don't do jokes. You're really bad at it. Anyway, it was a pretty interesting and productive night. But now I need some sleep. Yeah, please don't forget to get some sleep. I'll see you again tomorrow, I, I assume. No, don't worry. I'll be here tomorrow. Night, night. Also, I don't know how many times I've seen a little cat boy walk past in the back window, but I really want him to come in. Like, there's a cat boy that walks past. I, you can see it. You can see there's a cat boy in the back window that walks past. Black lemon, a perfect, if unlikely, combination of sour and bitter. Oh, I might have to try that sometime. Freya just sweeping all the AO3 tags. Well, I mean, I do have a cannibalism tag in one of mine. <laughs> Thursday, September 24th. Oh. Oh, bloody hell. Despite losing a member, Super Smiles' latest album sold a million copies. Vlogging is now part of the curriculum at some private high schools. Stop workplace radic uh, racial profiling. The Orkish Workers' Union demands. Good for them. Good for them. I'm for the Ork Work Union. Oh, speak of the Orcs. Welcome. Yo. Cup of honey milk, please. Right away. What was it that she wanted again? A cup of honey milk, please. Whoa. Oh, oh I, I clicked onto another bit. Ugh. Everything's safe, I swear. I swear. Uh, all right, let's go with milk, honey. Can we just brew this? No, we do need a secondary. All right, we'll just go with the double, double honey.
wait, wait, wait. Actually, I want to trash it. I want to check the honey milk really quickly to see if we got it right. I just want to double check. All cup of honey milk. We don't know if it's we don't know if it's real yet. Okay, okay, fine. We'll just we'll, we'll, we'll just do what we did. Uh, milk, honey, honey. There we go. Yo, let's serve it. Here you go. Your honey milk is ready. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. I don't know what voice to do for her. I'm feeling like something a little bit more like bassy here, but like a little bit gruffer, you know? I'm having trouble finding the gruff. Hey, Xander, seems there's a, like there's a cat. <gasps> oh my God, she got in with me. Hey, relax, it's okay. The cat's a customer. Hey, kitty cat, what are you looking for? This is want some milk? <gasps> Hi, barista. Oh, -ha -ha. yes, I'd love some milk. Well, meow. Holy, you look like you've just seen a ghost. No, I, I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's been a while since the last time I saw a Nekomimi transforming. Well, we rarely do that in public. I guess you don't have that many Nekomimi we're friends. I won't say I have. Bro, why is it like girls' night at the bar? Okay, we're good. We've got so... We're so... Our bar's popular. You folks usually use your feline form to commute. If I'm not mistaken. That's right. Well, commuting as a cat sounds more practical. Then commuting as a hu... I mean, commuting as a bipedal form. Uh, kind of. Anyway, before we continue... Can I have my milk, please? I'm sorry. What kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff or anything? No milk. No milk. Nothing else. All right. Milk, milk, milk. You, I have... Milk. Fresh milk for the lady with the pretty smile. Thank you. I... <gasps> Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Are you hitting on an underage girl? What? What? I'm giving her a compliment. Wait, what? No, listen. No. What? No. 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 What the? Thank you for the compliment. What? Freya. It's really good. You're welcome. Oh, it's a young girl like you doing alone this late. I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown-up who can take care of herself. Uh, you don't look like a grown-up. What? I'm 18. Yeah, what? That's exactly what I'd call too young? Well, I'm not an old lady like you, that's for sure. Besides, I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old. So I'm definitely not a kid anymore. How? I'm sure you know. Uh, I I don't know. What is what's going on? Oh my, are you? Just say it. If this is something illegal, or if you're in danger, blink twice. I. Well, this is just awkward now. Freya, I'm not gonna lie. Why are you making my customers all feel awkward? Freya, I'm not gonna lie. Could, could you go sit in the corner and write? Like for real, Freya, could you could you do that? With a cute face like mine? Exactly. Seriously, you've never seen me on TV or social media. I don't want to sound like a snob, but I don't watch mainstream media. Pfft, snob, part of the broke but woke movement, I see. You must be the broke part. I don't see you ordering any drinks. What, too broke for a cup of coffee? <laughs> okay, roast her. Roast her. Roast her. Do it. Just keep roasting her. She's not that great for business. Oh, really? Sometimes I wonder. Could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Make your order. Is this some kind of meat cafe experiment or something? So what do you want? Roast her! Roast her! 
So, what do you want to order? The usual. Alright, the usual. Your espresso is ready. Look at them fighting. Hello, hello to those just joining. Lovely to see you. Ha ha. Glad you like it. Wait, wait a minute. You do look familiar. Are you in a pop? Are you in a pop group? Are you Rachel Florn Florencia? Member of Super Smiles who just... <gasps> it's the bad word. It's the bad word. It's the bad word. It's the bad word. The member of Super Smiles who just graduated? And started her solo career? Uh-huh. You're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. That brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Drinking milk? <laughs> I'm serious. But you can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. How come this coffee shop attracts so many weird people? Well, we have a lot of unusual customers. I like my I like my coffee shop. My coffee shop's great. This is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit, though. I feel like... Okay, I feel like an Incubus coffee shop would be such a great AU. I have to, like... I have to, I have to hit up Roy at some point and be like, Yo, Incubus coffee shop, when? To drink milk? No, yes. Yay, achievement unlocked. She speaks in Zoomer as well. I love it. No, seriously. Why are you here? Well, you know, the, un the usual young folks' problems. I had a fight with my father. And so, here I am. Ah, I see. But is it okay for a celebrity like you to... be alone this late? You don't need to worry about me. I can turn into a cat. Oh, now I'm really worried. Anyway, what happened? My dad. We got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. You're a pop star, bruh! You're a pop star! Okay, 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 okay. Listen, 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 Rachel, Rachel. You're a pop star. You, I'm sure you make enough money for your father to not care. He always saw my profession as something negative. But I love what I'm doing. What about your mother? All right. What about your mother? I have a I have a I have a sense of what the mother's going to be like. I have a sense. If I have a sense, I'm not going to say it out loud, but I'm just going to say if in like 10 years time she's writing a book about her mother being glad her mother's dead than we know what are her thoughts on your career choice she passed away a few years ago okay okay no 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 we're safe we're safe we're safe okay 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 she passed away a few years ago i'm sorry to hear that it's all right your dad know anything about the entertainment industry he used to work in showbiz decades ago. So yeah, he does know a thing or two. All right, you just seem like you just seem like a poor lost lamb over here. Like I I need to make sure you're all right. Oh wow, wow, the place is jumping. It's sad, but it's better than what I thought. Exactly. Exactly. I like it's sad, but I'm like I don't know. I I feel the weird need to protect everyone in this bar now. Apart from this, this orc lady, I feel like she should be protecting me. She should be protecting me. Good evening, Xander. Good evening. Uh, good evening, girls I've never met before. I just saw you yesterday. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Freya. Anyway, Xander. Yes, officer? I need something for my sore throat. Can you get a brother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? Sure thing. Green tea, honey, and some lemon. I got you. I got you, dude. Honey, lemon, green tea, my guy. Come on. Your green tea is ready. 
Let's go. Mm, the ingredients are correct. But there's just something off. Pardon me? Next time, try switching the ingredients. Understood. How's your day going? Anything out of the ordinary on your patrol? Oh, so the order we put them in is like a little bit off. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Anything interesting today? Actually, I witnessed some scary stuff on my shift today. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Bruh, Freya, stop digging if he wants to... Okay. Freya, low-key, is like starting to annoy the shit out of me. Because like, not to, not to play things up, right? Not to play things up. But if someone wants to talk about something like scary or traumatic or difficult, you shut up and you wait for them to, to talk about it. They're, you let them lead the conversation, okay, Freya? If someone wants to talk about something, like, I get you're being nosy, Freya. I get that you're being a writer, okay? But let him lead the conversation when he wants to talk about something potentially difficult for him. Let him lead the conversation, okay? You don't need to burrow into it like, 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 like a woodlouse. Yes. The scary thing I witnessed was... My salary. There we- Okay, okay, okay. Georgie was hitting her with one of those. Okay, good. My salary. Seriously? Yeah, today's payday. And I checked my ATM during the shift, and such a horrible sight. Other than that, the labor union protest, and everything's fine, though. How can you say it's fine? We got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. <gasps> Question, what's a woodlouse? I- I think it might be, like, British for termite. I think it might be British for termite. I don't know. They're like these little, little, okay, they're, they're, they're like these little, um, these little black insects that, like, like to dig into wood. It's like the British version of termite. I'm not British. I'm from the second circle of the underworld. But, you know, I lived there for a little bit. Ain't that strong proof this area is safe? Heh. <laughs> Thank you for the drink and the place to sit. I'm going back now. That's her voice. Uh, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed your drink. Uh-huh. She seems like the strong but silent type. She seems like she'd look after me. Who the hell was that? She just sat there and read. I'm pretty sure that's normal in a coffee shop. I mean, do you not always do that when you're here writing? I guess you're right. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yeah. What are you doing here, young lady? It's pretty late, you know. I don't have anywhere else to go. Man, this place looks cozy. I see. So, basically, you wanted to go to a bar? But you're underage, right? <laughs> how, how, how did you know? You can read minds now, old man. I have a daughter around her age. It's easy to translate, but they say. <laughs> okay, okay. That's that's some cute fatherly instinct there. That's cute. That's cute. Mm. I don't know. I feel like I'd make a good dad. Maybe one day. Maybe one day I'd be a good parent. I do want kids someday. So yeah, maybe. <laughs> that might be cute. <laughs> uh, who knows? Who knows? I don't know why you're here. But everything's gonna be okay. You can't forget all your problems while you're here. Dude, you're a cop. It's not his job to take someone else uh, care of someone else's daughter. He's a cop! This is exactly his job! Relax, Freya. Don't be so uptight. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Policeman here made me feel much safer already. You know it yourself, Freya. This place is very safe. It's very safe. It's my it's my bar. I'm an incubus. I'm a demon. I run a bar. You're fine. It's my coffee shop. It's good. Of course, it's the safest place around here. Look, hey, that endorsement comes with a discount, right? <laughs> but do do you even pay? Does anyone here even pay? I'm yet to put money in a register in a register. What? Don't look at me that way. You're a cop, old man. Act like one. I deal with crimes in public safety. How should I know how to handle someone else's daughter? 
You should know. You're a father yourself. No, right. Guys, you know I can hear you, right? Really? See, Freya, she has good hearing. That should help her protect herself. Anyway, miss. Rachel? Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I've told the others, I had a fight with my dad. Guys, guys. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Why would you say that? Because it's true. I've fought a lot with my kids. It's normal. In fact, whenever we finish an argument about something, we become closer as a family. Huh. Because when things have calmed down, I learn something new about them. And they learn something about me as well. As long as we don't leave things unresolved, an argument makes things better. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one among countless others. He wasn't like this before. Before it happened. You mean before your solo career? No, before her mother died, you insensitive little pixie! Re really? Really? Re 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 you want to be a writer, but you can't understand basic human emotion. Good to know, good to know, good to know. What happens each fight? Mm -hmm. Nothing. We just don't talk about it. Until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't easy. But you gotta understand each other better. And as much as I hate to admit it, conflict is always the best way to know someone. <clears throat> Even your own blood. But it was never this bad when mom was around. She's the only one who understood me. And she also understood your father. <laughs> Insensitive pixie. Zanny and his excellent insults. It's one part where I excel. But your mom acted as a mediator between the two of you. That's... Possible. And now mom's gone. I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. Bruh, someone tagged me in a clip of fucking Quinn calling me uh, a, a fucking... Um... A, a fucking, what is it, like, a, a, a New Zealand superhero? The guy turned around and was like, Xander Neverbrand? That's like a New Zealand superhero. Like, what? what is that? Like, I'm sorry, why am I being insulted by a man who looks like a Fortnite skin? What? Why is, why am I being, why am I being dunked on by a man who literally looks like a Fortnite skin? I, I, what is that? How? How? <laughs> like, what? What? <laughs> like, bruh, my dude, do not, do not try me, do not try me, we will, we will eat, I am more, I am more than happy to stag more than enough food on that plate. <laughs> do not even, okay? <laughs> bruh, <laughs> like, don't even, New Zealand superhero, <laughs> bruh. Man's looking like something that comes with the battle pass. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> nah, I'm ready for that. I'm ready for that playful beef. And your dad, he lost his best negotiator. Wait a second. You said this has happened a lot, but why'd you run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm the one who always ran away. <laughs> Using my job as an excuse. I can confirm that. He's been here a lot. Yeah, I run here a lot. <laughs> but I hate to tell you that again. But you both gotta resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous. In any relationship. I kinda understand what you're going through, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did it happen? To be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. Maybe I should run even farther. I mean, I have my own income. I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? 
Am I an adult? No adult will- No adult would ever say I'm an adult. Oh, good Freya. No, okay, adults are allowed to say I'm an adult. Okay, every- every person in their late teenage years needs to have an I'm an adult moment. Where it's where they realize that they are an adult and they can look after themselves if they need to. It doesn't mean they- they don't need help, but it does mean that they are able to look after themselves. Right? Like, fr what, what are you meant to say when you're an adult? Are you meant to go, I'm not an adult? You should automatically assume I'm an adult? Like, bruh. Bruh. Just give yourself time to think, Miss Rachel. Yeah, and try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this. Like adults, you really don't need to rush a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But now... Now I recommend you just go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride. But... You don't need to talk with your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least knowing you're safe at home will give him some peace. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. You're right. You really are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. Where do you live, Miss Rachel? In the western part of Neko Town. Neko Town. Neko Town. That's a place. That's that's a pl baby. Take me to Neko Town. What? What? That's a place. That's where I spend my time off in this universe. <laughs> uh, oh goodness, that's where I spend my 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 time. <laughs> oh, that's quite far. You're still gonna drive me home, right? An old man? Of course I will. I should drive you home too, Miss Freya. <laughs> what should be the scary part of town? If it's the scary part of town, I'll be there either way. No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? 100% sure. Okay, well, we'll be off then. Thank you, Xander and Freya. Take care on your way home. Oh, that's me. Thank you, Xander and Freya. Take care on your way home. <laughs> uh, Alright. Shoo. Oh, no, thank you. Me, take care on your way home. Bah! I'm Xander. That's it. That's the answer. <laughs> and there they went. Yes. You can stay longer if you need, but... Nah, it's fine. I have to call it a day. Good. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. It's nice to hear. You're stepping up. I'm juggling a lot of work, though. Barely made my deadlines. I don't know if I can keep this up. Why don't you just come clean and tell your boss about the publishing offer? Who knows, maybe she'll understand and give you a little extra leeway. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go take a vacation and finish your novel. <laughs> In your dreams. I'm not exactly employee of the month. You never know. You never know, might end up may, be up on the chalk popping block. Oh, the pressure. But I'm sure about one thing, though. The coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Oh, the door's always open for you. <laughs> I bet it is. Okay, take care. Be careful on your way home. Well, that was cool. Galahad. Ginger chai latte. Good to car- Oh. Oh, that's got a little roaring wolf and a heart on it. Oh, oh, ginger chai latte. Good to calm yet warm your nerve. Oh, we might try and make that for Gala. That would be nice. That would be sweet. Friday the 25th of September. Where? Ooh. Werewolf activist imprisoned for owning illegal fury sedative. Illegal fury sedative? The Orkish Workers' Union in talks with the government over their pleas. Rap group Street Orchestra questioned over their pro-eco-terror... Word I can't say on YouTube. Lyrics. Oh hey, what's up? Good evening, Mr. Hyde. Good evening. Are you by yourself tonight? Gala's coming. 
after his shift. Hmm. And it's pretty empty here. Um, you are the first customer of the night? <laughs> Is there something funny for you, sir? What's your deal? Nothing. It's just a bit strange that you say R. When obviously there's only you here. Oh, um... I guess it's just me, but when I'm working... I always put myself as the barista and the coffee shop. I see. Anyway, I need to order something. What would you like to drink, sir? Hmm. Do you have any blood? Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, but but we, we, we don't do blood. No, oh, come on. Did you think I was serious? Oh. No, give me a ginger green tea and make sure it's very warm and bitter. Ginger green tea, let's go. So we got some tea, we got some ginger, and then... We got more ginger. G tea, ginger, ginger. Let's, let's give him a ginger green tea. We got a little bit of tea. Chopping up that ginger. Grinding it up. And there's a ginger green tea for you, sir. Your drink is ready. Let's see it. This is nothing like what I ordered. Oh my, that was a mistake. Let me get you another one. Yes, please. Remember, ginger green tea. Very warm, very bitter. Oh, we used regular tea, not green tea. Green tea and then ginger ginger. My deepest apologies, sir. My deepest apologies. I am, I am so sorry for my lack of professionalism. There you go, my bad. Here's your warm, bitter ginger green tea. Finally. By the way, if you don't mind me asking, ask away. You said you're here for work? Yes, for a couple of weeks. You're not in the medical industry like Gala, are you? Hell no. I could never imagine myself doing something so... What's the word? Something as honorable as that. Dude, why do you give me such, like... Why do you give me such a, like, 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 pa like... Like brat twink vibes? Why are you doing this? Hmm. Then, are you dealing with something I shouldn't ask about? I'm not a criminal. In case that's what you had in mind. I mean, it's not an evil job per se. But definitely not as honorable as working in a hospital. Then what is it? Yes. You travel a lot. More or less. You befriend startup founders. So I assume you either have your own startup or you work in some kind of investment agency. Huh. Used to, but not anymore. The startup founder, he's just a friend. Then what do you do? I've had many career paths in my life. They get boring after a while. So right now I'm a model. A model? All right, all right, sir. All right, sir, I didn't expect that. But you have the looks to be a model, definitely. So I guess that makes sense. Do you want to know a secret? Sure. The hey, Mika, Zanny, if you were coffee, you'd be a triple shot of espresso because you're strong, bold, and make my heart race. Headed to sleep now, have a good stream. Hey, thank you, Mika. Those ads for anti-aging skincare products. No way. Vampire models. We are naturally good looking. Skin paler than an elves. But we don't have those annoying pointy ears. Which makes us basically... A bunch of good-looking living mannequins. I... As Mika sleeps well, we shall enjoy our... <laughs> I'm, I'm still, like, I'm still getting over the, 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 the espresso shot. I love the espresso shot. <laughs> uh, Mika pulled a good one out there. How to better advertise, advertise anti-aging products and people who naturally don't age. Isn't that false advertising? Huh. Don't be naive. The truth is a matter of circumstance and perspective. Advertising is just framing the truth. I never thought of it in a such a soulless way. How long have you been a model? Oh, not long. No more than 30 years. Wow. Humans really do have just the general debuff on everything. We don't live as long. We have nothing cool about us. We really do suck. Good evening. Can you please be a little quieter? There's another customer here. Act like a civilized person, if you could. No, oh, come on. I'm just trying to make this place a little livelier. I don't mind. You don't mind, right, sir? <laughs> no, I don't mind. 
I'm pretty sure I saw you here last I was here. You bet. No, I'm not a human. I'm not a human. I'm an incubus, okay? I'm just saying we in a general sense, okay? As in, in this human, in this human game, in this fictitious world. You know, I could be playing an incubus. You bet. You could say I'm a regular here. Hence the attire. Hey. You look very happy. Any special occasion? Nah, nothing. This is my default state. Shuni has two states. Either extreme excitement or super stressed. Well, stop putting me in a bad light. Anyway, what were you talking about? We were talking about Mr. Hyde's profession. And what is your profession, dear sir? I'm a model. And he's been doing it for 30 years. Holy shit, 30 years of modeling! That's a long time. Not for me. My current liaison in the clothing brand I work with is the daughter of the guy I worked with when I started modeling. What? I usually work until it's the grandchild. That's really cool. I'm Freya, by the way. Nice to meet you, Freya. Okay, but immortality's so fucking hot. Um, how's writing so far? It's okay. But I'm stuck in need of a warm drink. So brew me something, please. Coffee? Nah. I need to take it slow tonight. Make me something warm and sweet without coffee. Warm and sweet without coffee. So let's say... Tea... Honey... No. Let's go with tea with double honey. Because that's warm and sweet without coffee. Honey tea. Let's let's serve her honey tea. Warm and sweet without coffee. A warm sweet drink. Nice. A perfect drink to end a day. I'm glad you liked it. There we go. There we go. Right? Imagine working by generation. So you're a writer. Yeah, I work for the Evening Whispers, but I'm also working on my own novel right now. Sounds interesting. What kind of novel are you writing? Um, it's complicated. You should wait until she finishes it. Yeah, no spoilers. Uh, that's... If she ever manages to finish it. <laughs> yeah, that too. What's the genre? Slice of life. No, not fantasy or sci-fi. I'm still not sure. It'll probably just be normal slice of life. Okay, but the vampire likes fantasy and sci-fi. Um, very clearly. Husband material, right there. Would marry the vampire. It's cute that the pixie has a pixie cut. Oh. Is chat broke? Is chat broke? No, I think it's fine. It's coming up fine on my end. You're not wrong. I'll probably put some surrealist elements in there. Maybe I'll set it in a world where only humans exist. Heh. <laughs> it sounds a bit racist. That's the twist! Oh, Kamisha! Hey, Kamisha! What's up? Thank you for the super! I just wanted to stop by and say thanks for the hand cam. I'm using your hands as a reference to get better at drawing hands. And also, uh, I'm taking graduation pictures. Wish me luck. Hey, good luck, Kamisha. Good luck with the graduation pictures. And for sure, if you want to post, like, any of the stuff you, you've drawn of, like, my hands, that'll be really cool. I've never seen, like, anyone practice drawing hands with, like, me as the guideline before. That would be awesome. So, yeah, amazing. Good luck with the graduation photos and, and good luck with the drawing as well. Amazing. <laughs> Love that. Fucking okay, Kamisha, thank you for the super. You check in, sweetie. <laughs> Love that. Check in, sweetie. This isn't about racial supremacy. Imagine even a world where only one race exists. Problems still appear. Anyway, discrimination and racism will still happen. How can they be racist without other races? Differences in language, nationality, ideology, even just skin color. When everything's the same, the smallest differences stand out. Perhaps it's diversity that can teach us to look past the differences. 
The bottom line is, we'll always find a way to hate others. <laughs> I assure you of that. <laughs> that doesn't really sound all that funny. It's, it's fantasy. That's what fiction's for, anyway. Painting the what-ifs. <laughs> That's actually pretty interesting. I'll buy your book when it comes out. And I'll fly back here to have it signed. Aw, thank you. Right? Fantasy. Fantasy. What a lovely... Oh, it's Lua! It's Lua! Everyone, it's Lua! Okay, everyone, it's Lua! Okay? Okay? It's Lua! Is she alright? We need to check if she's alright. Last time we saw her, she walked out on her boyfriend. Okay? And because of, of drama with the family, we need to check if she's good, because we haven't seen her for three days. Hi, everyone. Good evening, Miss Lua. Hi there. How's it going? Great, thank you. Lua, please meet Hyde. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hyde. And Hyde, please meet Lua. Hi. Are you by yourself? Yeah, just finished a meeting. I needed an escape from my co-workers. So I decided to come here instead. Is Bayless coming? No, he's not. He's a freelancer, remember? He's free to do whatever he wants. Is everything okay? She threw that line. Okay, I need to redo that line because she threw it. She threw that a little side. He's free to do whatever he wants. She threw that a little out the side of her mouth with that one. She definitely did. To be honest, we haven't talked much since the other day. Oh, oh no, no, no. No, I love love. I love love. Also, we allow smoking in my coffee shop. I'm sorry if my rule would... I'm sorry, smoke outside. Listen, listen. I know it's raining outside, right? But as someone who used to smoke, okay? Go outside and smoke in the rain so you don't stink up my coffee shop, okay? D do that, do that. I don't need my place smelling of nicotine. We shall fix that with a warm drink, then. Good idea, thanks. I don't think I noticed before. I don't think I noticed before. I'm in the mood for a green tea latte. Green tea latte? Is there a problem? No, it's nothing, sorry. Uh, then a green tea latte, please. Okay, green tea a la 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 latte. Let's... If we double, it'll be cool. Let's reset, go with double green tea. And go with that. That should be a good green tea latte. Is that a green tea latte or is that just a... That's a milk green tea. Okay, no, no, no. Trash it, trash it. We needed green tea double milk. There we go. Green tea latte with some latte art, of course. Okay, we're going to get better at our latte art. I know we are. We're gonna go... Uh, and... Uh, and... Wait, 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 I know what to do for my... I know what to do for my, for my latte art. Wait, everyone? I know what to do for the latte art. It's going to be this. Ah... Uh, ah... Uh, uh, uh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. No, I can't do my womb tattoo. Okay, I can't do my womb tattoo as the latte art. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. I can't do my womb tattoo as the latte art. <laughs> uh. You, can, you, you know what? You can still get it. You can still get it. What? An incubus to a succubus. There you go. <laughs> Your green tea latte is ready. Why, thank you. I don't want a wound tattoo on my green tea latte. Is that what, no, not what you call the little tattoo, like, there that I have? The one, like, down, down, like, on the, on, on, like, the waist? The, the tattoo on the lower stomach? 
Wait, have people not seen the womb tattoo? I don't know why, but I was suddenly longing for a green tea latte. No, the terminology is right. The terminology is right. Okay, good, good, good. Like, the drink feels really heartwarming. Call me pretentious, but I think drinks have the power to connect people's hearts. It's surprisingly deep for a cup of tea. D do we want to show it? Okay, fine. We'll show it really quickly. We'll show it really quickly. Okay, fine, fine, fine. We'll just, just, just let me take my apron off. Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. I'll just leave it over, over here. Okay. Yeah. Ah, there you go. There you go. You get this once. You get this once. Okay. There you go. One, one quick little glance. You get one, one quick little glance. Now let me put my apron back on and get back to work, everyone. Okay. Let me put my apron on. There we go. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That one. Yeah, that one. That one. That's not part of the clothing. Okay. That's surprisingly deep for a cup of tea. By the way, about Bayless. Has he visited this place again? After our last meeting? Not that I know of. He hasn't. Yeah, all, all of you get your jollies for that, okay? For free, we're blessed. What was I going to do? Turn around and be like, you must arc a super me if you want to see the tattoo. Like, that's cringe. <laughs> that's fucking cringe. I always find it cringe when people try and put, like, provisos on doing that kind of shit. Lua, oh, I should apologize for the commotion we caused. Please don't worry about it. Who is this Bayless person you keep mentioning? Lua, Freya. And Bayless is... Or was... I don't know. My boyfriend. We had a little fight a few days ago. About what? Hey, is it okay for him to just ask like that? You tell me! You tell me! You're the awkward one! Dude, I'm just a customer. You're the owner of this place. It's an old problem. I'm a succubus and he's an elf. As usual. Racial problems, then. Psst, show some manners, old man! <laughs> nice no, right. Hey, thank you for the super payback for the chat. No, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> but thank you very much, Nice right. Thank you for the super. What? I'm just following up on the question you started. It's all right. Bailiff and I have different views on the importance of family. My family's pretty close, and usually they're supportive. But when it comes to dating an elf. They fear that I'll be treated like, uh, like a peasant. Bayliss, on the other hand, he comes from a well-respected elven family. They can be cagey at times. I get it. But for whatever reason, he took his family for granted. It's not surprising that his family would disagree with the rea with the relationship. <clears throat> I don't know. You don't sound like most succubi I know. How's your boyfriend dealing with this? He said we should just keep going. Just the same as we have for the last 10 years. So you've been together 10 years as a couple. And he's suggesting the two of you should go on as usual. I mean, your relationship for the past 10 years. That was without familial approval, right? Well, yes. But I want a relationship to move forward. I want a family. Did he disagree with the idea of marrying you? No, qu quite the opposite. He, he wanted to marry me. Then what's the problem then? It's not that simple. His family will disown him. Yes. He wants to marry you even if he has to leave his family. Yes. Problem solved then. Why do you have to care so much about his or what your family thinks? Just marry him. Make a family of your own. It's not that simple. 
I don't want to be held responsible if he regrets his decision. Abandoning one's family is not a solution. What if marrying me is a mistake? What if he regrets leaving his family? I can't take that kind of responsibility. I can't let him make that sacrifice. Lua, did he ever... Did you ever think about the risks when you started dating him? Yes. No, maybe a little. We didn't think it would get this far. Hmm. From what I can see, you're the problem here. You're pretty greedy for wanting it all. <gasps> Hide! Hide! You bitch, I love you, but you bitch, I love you. Hide! Hyde's coming out of his cage and he's doing just fine. Hmm. Him, family approval. You're asking for a racial reconciliation. Might as well ask for world peace. Old man, stop talking. Lua, if I may ask, do, do you want to marry Baileys? I love him, of course, though. I can't let him leave his family for me. It would be selfish. Because I can't do the same for him. Why? There's a phone going off. Does someone want to want to get that? I love my family so much, no matter how messy they are. Well, that's difficult. So you're forcing your boyfriend to have the same life you have. That blood is thicker than water mentality won't work here. Not every family's worth fighting for, you know. Preach, Hyde, preach! Some are. Not his. Have you ever met Bayless family? N no, they're, they always rejected the idea. Did he try to introduce you to them? He did. You can't have it all. This is not a fairy tale. This is a story where some this isn't a story where some fairy godmother will appear and grant your wishes. This is how things go in real life. You have to take chances and make sacrifices. And you choose which one is the best for you. Pretty simple. Bruh, bruh, the va trust me, the vampire knows blood isn't thicker than water. Guy has it. Hide spitting facts. I I'm sorry, I have to leave. I hate to be the girl that always runs away, but thank you for the advice. I take care on your way, Miss Lua. I will. Bye. Okay, get out of there. Get out of there. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hide. 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 I'm just letting you know this drink is on the house for you, okay? That drink's on the house. Don't worry about it. You were super harsh, old man. Huh. But you agree with me, don't you? Well,. You didn't have to say it so harshly. Now, what are you doing here by yourself anyway? Trying to pick a fight with everyone? I'm waiting for my friend. Oh, there he is. Hey, there's the ma There he is. There he is. There's the guy. There's, there's Gala. Look at him. Look at Gala. Look at him. He's perfect. I love him. I love him. Look at him. Hello, everyone. Hey, Gala. How are you doing, Freya? I'm fine. But your friend here's one hell of a troublemaker. What did you do this time, Hyde? Stated facts. Harshly. To someone that needed it. But, it, but not the way you said it. Uh, let me order a drink first. Uh, you there, folks, tell me about what happened. Uh, what are you having this evening, sir? Do you remember my fury remedy? I mentioned it a couple days ago. The one with ginger and caffeine. Yeah. Can you help me try and figure out what it is? Sure, sure, sure. I'll try mixing the ginger with tea. Tea, ginger, and... Uh, I'm not sure what the last one might be. Okay, I'll, I'll try experimenting with it. You'll know when you get it right. Alright, let's see. Tea, ginger, and... Uh... What if we added, like... I feel like milk would be too basic. Maybe a lemon. Maybe some ginger and lemon tea.
Ginger lemon tea. Let's let's try that. Let's let's give him ginger lemon tea. Maybe that'll do it for him. Lemon? Lemon? Yeah, we're all on we're all of the same mind. Lemon. Here's your drink, sir. Hmm. I'm a hundred percent sure this is not the remedy I would need. Let me try brewing another one. Okay. Now I'm more interested in your story anyway. So, tell me what happened. She's a better storyteller than me. All right, so there's this girl. Okay, yeah, 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 you, you, you know, you, we, we, we were there for it. We were there for it. We were there for it. That's about it. Maybe we should have done milk. Hide, oh, hide. You never change, do you? Oh, both of you are just going to judge me for being honest now. Dude, it's honesty is good and all, but, you know, you don't need to be a dick. Listen here, Hyde. Uh, she's got a good point. Ugh, not you too. I was a bit surprised, though. Usually you don't bother with this kind of thing. I've seen you actively avoiding it. <laughs> you do know me. We've been friends for years. Yeah, of course. I don't know why I got involved in that discussion. I guess the vibe of this place has seeped into me. <gasps> Do you think he got involved in that discussion as a proxy for like him and Hyde? Do you think he for Hyde and Hyde and Hyde and Gala? The whole you know, the whole racial the whole racial disparity disagreement kind of tension because obviously we've got werewolf vampire succubus right succubus elf right do you think do you think that he like maybe not even romantically not even romantically even if we take romance completely out of it do you think he could have actually seen in his mind the kind of uh parallels between his and gala's relationship and how that was affected by their people's kind of tension and kind of seen the the, de the deliberate parallels between uh both lua and bayless that's what i'm thinking I understand. This place does have that special magic. Not exactly a good magic, judging from the reaction I received today. You may be right, but there are better ways to say what you have than in your mind. Anyway, I gotta go. So soon? It's past midnight. I need to get some sleep. This place opens past mi- mm. Take care on your way, Freya. Sleep tight. See you guys. All right, all right. All right, K-Modest Darian, what can I do for you now? Why are you staring at me like that? Yeah, nothing. What did you want to talk about when he told me to meet you here? I was just bored. And that's the surest way to make you come out. Seriously? I thought the story from Freya was enough. To fill your daily dose of interaction. Well, it was something. Hmm. You said something about being my friend for years. Yes, why? Have you ever- <gasps> Do you ever wonder what we'd be like if we hadn't met? What do you mean? Loki, these two have fucked on the sly. Uh, Loki, these guys have hooked up once. These guys have hooked up. No, the side eyes, the- no way, no way. These two have hooked up at least before this dude got married. For sure, for sure. Forget it. They're so- they give me such fruity energy. They give me such fruity energy. It's late anyway. I need to get back. Like, I'm not trying to yassify everything, right? I'm not trying to do that. That's something I dislike in general. I dislike the yassification of everything. But, like, at the same time, I'm like, there's some weird, there's some weird champ vibes between these two. I... Right! All right, Xander. Thanks for the evening. The pleasure was all mine. Bye. Okay, we've got Gala alone. Spill the tea, Gala. Spill the tea. 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 What what went down there? What went down there? Did he give you a hand with your fury one time? Tell me, what happened? You know him better than I do, Mr. Gala. Care for another drink to end the day? <laughs> sure. 
All right, let's let's cafe latte, cafe cafe latte, cafe latte. Um. All right, we'll do one more day and then we'll we'll start chilling down for the for the stream. We'll do that. We'll do that. What's in the paper today? Atlantic countries plead for land folk to send help instead of trash. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, but even the merfolk are tired of us dumping our shit in the sea. <laughs> Opinion. Who watches the Watchmen in Seattle? Cats are the best creatures on Earth, research has proven. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Welcome. Oh. Um, welcome. Uh, I don't even know what to do, what, what, what voice to do for you. It'd be like, hello there. Good evening. Good, good evening, sir. Uh, you're, are you, a, are you a computer? Are you a computer? The earthly linguistic problem. We will never get used to it. Um, is it okay if I call you sir? Definitely. You can call us whatever you like. We do not mind a bit. Do you want to order anything? Oh, yes. We have to communicate our order. Please pardon us. Hmm. What? <gasps> he's doing the little, the little thing with the fingers. Look at what he's doing with the little fingers. He's doing the, he's doing the little, I'm shy. We will not be able to taste the difference anyway. Uh, what do you mean? It is all right. Forget it. What is the most expensive drink here? Everything's the same price in this coffee shop. Really? That is interesting. Unlike other places we have visited so far. Have you decided on what to order then, my guy? Okay, we would like to order... Anything. 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 Alright, let's give you a tea. Some ginger. And let's throw on some cinnamon, baby. Let's throw on some tea, ginger, and cinnamon. Let's see if that if that'll if that'll cook up anything for you. Masala chai, baby. Masala chai. Let's go with that. Your drink is ready, sir. I hope it's to your liking. And do not worry. It will not matter to us. Okay, let us drink this. You. Um, yes. Oh, nothing. Okay. Um, excuse me, sir. Yes. Why did you put your finger in the drink? That is a very strange question. We are drinking it, of course. Dr drinking, drinking it. Yes, drinking it. Uh, oh, yes, of course. We almost forgot. Earthlings use their or speaking organs to drink. We use our appendages to drink. Usually a... Usually a polypropylene drinking apparatus is provided for us to use. Uh, I'm sorry, polypropylene... It is what you call plastic in the shape of a long tubular stick. You, you mean a straw? Yes. We wonder why Earthlings rely on it so much. Mostly, you can drink without it. Yet, the plastic straw apparatus was provided on 87.76% of all drinking occasions we encountered. And it has become one of the biggest singular pollutants on your planet. I mean, man, man, dude, bro, 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 bruh, bruh. Bruh. Next time I order a store, I'm going to call it a poly whatever tubular apparatus. I'm going to do that. Get some sideways looks. How, 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 how do you drink with the straw, actually? Do you like... The same as we just did. But thanks to the plastic stick apparatus, we do not need to put our appendages into the liquid mixture you call drinks. That is very convenient. Perhaps convenient takes higher priority in Earthlings' decision-making processes. I, I see. 
I guess people won't suspect a thing if you put your hands... Oh, that's that's me. I guess people won't suspect a thing if you put your hands on a straw. Affirmative. Oh, by the way, you said you just arrived. Where did you come from, sir? Far. It would be too complicated to tell you the details. But we can tell you one thing. We have a mission here. A, a, a mission? Cool. Yes. What kind of mission, spaceman? Find what the Earthlings call a female. <laughs> Average Redditor. <laughs> Average Reddit mod. Um. And then... Breed. <laughs> oh, no. So you came from far, from a faraway place to find a date. Date. Our mission does not have anything to do with your understanding of the time. Uh, no, no, no. I'm talking about the kind of date where you, you know, you know, you know, you do your thing. You slide up. You, you kind of, you kind of glide and slide. You take them out somewhere. You, you see how things roll. Well, pardon us, but no, our mission does not have anything to do with fruits. <laughs> Well, of course, you're doing... Of course, you're searching for a female. <laughs> um, <laughs> I wasn't talking about that kind of date either. No, pardon us again. Your language is extremely confusing sometimes. Eh, no, no, don't worry about it. We, are, uh, we also struggle with our own language. Earthlings really do need to work on their communication. Oh, trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me, bro. Trust me. I don't know. I don't like tr trust me, dude. Trust me. Okay. We do. We do. We do. Trust me. Okay. This incubus has had so many things break, like relationships, affairs, all this stuff just break down because of lack of communication. Okay. I'm, I, I don't know, dude. We need to sort that, that out. Okay, spaceman. All right. Listen, listen, spaceman. I'm, I hope you find your female. I hope you get to take her on a ride on your rocket ship. Good for you. Okay. We're rooting for this guy. There are so many ways to make communication more direct and simple. Of all the places we have been to, this place has the worst communication methods. And can't argue with that, Chief. Can't argue with that, Chief. So how's the mission so far? Not good. We are using this unique communication application. According to our data, it is the biggest source of breeding interaction on Earth. Although, the success rate of the breeding is not as high as the interaction. Huh? I've never heard about. Wait, <gasps> are we talking about a dating app? This system used a fire symbol as their sign. It's Tinder. Man's using Tinder. Man's using Tinder. Let's go. Okay, okay. Don't worry, spaceman. All right, point Dexter. Sit your ass down and let me write you a bio that will get them jumping. All right, I got you. You are talking about a dating app. But again, we have found some contradictions in the application. What do you mean? According to our understanding of the application, it requires the person to interact with it to swipe left or right. If you swipe left, it means you do not want to breed. If you swipe right, it means you do want to breed. And when... Oh, God. And when two interactees swipe right between each other, they can commence the introduction of, to the breeding process. It didn't go well. Oh, imagine, bro. Imagine you're on Tinder, okay? Imagine you're, imagine you're some, you're the, you're the type of being that's on Tinder, okay? And you see this cool little spaceman dude, and you think, heck, he's a little weird, but I'm gonna swipe right. And then as soon as the two of you start talking, right? He sends the first DM. You think, wonderful, okay? It's about time. Almost no one sends the first. Like sending the first DM is such a difficult thing these days, you know. Because uh, my rule has always been the person who who swipes second, who makes the, the match, should send the first DM. But you know, this guy is here. He immediately pops into your inbox and go and goes, "You look ready to breed. <laughs> like, I am ready to breed with you. Let us begin. Like, dude, no. Who is here to breed?" Oh, most of them started communicating with very big letters on the communication platform. And they said some words that cannot be considered proper. I... I do not know what to say about that. Uh, I do not know what to say about that. But you said most of them. Some of them actually did not get mad. Oh, some of them are laughing with text. So you... did you get to meet any? We set up meetings. 
Many of them did not appear. But some did? Yes, but we got confused with the way they communicate. No outcome from the meeting. Even though we decided to go to various recommended places according to our database. And this coffee shop happens to be one of them? Yes. Interesting. Then you're here to meet someone. Yes. But she should have arrived some time ago. You got stood up. She's not coming. Maybe each Earthling has different interpretations of the time also. Ah, you're right about that. Oh, 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 is this your date? Good evening, miss. Evening. And what would you like to order? Cafe latte, please. All right, let's go. Coffee. Tea, tea. I think that's it. Let me check if that is cafe latte. Cafe latte, coffee, milk, milk. Coffee, milk, milk. Love that. Let's brew it. Love that. And we'll do some latte art as well. Uh, we, we'll do... Uh, that that right right and then i ha uh whoa. maybe i could like swirl it that doesn't look awful, kind of. That that doesn't look that that doesn't look awful. It, it kind of looks like a. It's abstract. Right. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad as long as it's not awful. Thank you. How is it? Good. I'm glad you like it. Are you here to read again, miss? Yeah, you know the drill. Then please enjoy your time here. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Spaceman meets, meets, meets Dommy Mommy Orc? Wait, what? Can I help you with something? Oh, nothing. Pardon us. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um. Excuse us. Yeah? Are you waiting for someone? Not this again. No, I'm not waiting for anyone. Are you sure? Yes! Oh, Asquith, cool. thank you. Your latte art was indeed a masterpiece. Thank you very, very much. Because we are waiting for someone from this app. And she is an orc, just like you. I, Asquith, cool. thank you for the love of the latte art. But immediately I'm feeling awkward for her because we just got that orc. We just, we just got a, we just got a... She's an orc like you. Look here. First, I'm not the only female orc on Earth. Heck, I'm not even a pure orc. But is your name Urukai69? Ur oh, Urukai69? It's cute. It's cute. <laughs> they like. Urukai69? Oh, my God. Is this guy sane? Uh, please pardon them, miss. I don't think they're from around here. De de so? You have not answered the question. Are you Urukai 69? No. My name is Myrtle, and I've never used Urukai 69 anywhere. No. Oh, you really are not her. Of course I'm not. Seriously, men nowadays. If you're that desperate to find a date, why don't you ask your friends? Or go to a club or something. But we don't have any friends on Earth. Hey, when you said he's not from around here, are you saying he's not from Earth? 
Uh, well, from what I've gathered up till now, they're not from this planet. Man. Pardon us for interrupting. But when you said club, which activities are you talking about? According to the search result, there are just too many clubs on Earth. Some of them look pretty interesting. Like this club about space exploration. They call themselves Trekkies. Oh, oh, this man, this man, this man's making me cringe. This man's making me cringe. This man's making me cringe. I can't, I can't, I can't. Uh, forget everything I said. What time were you supposed to meet this female? About an hour ago, according to the local time. She's bailing on you, man. What is that? What? <clears throat> what does that mean? It means there's a big chance she's not coming. She's just not coming, dude. She's just not. Look, I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. She's probably right, sir. I don't know why my female orc has slowly slid into sounding like Crimson Rose, but okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> have you tried contacting her? We have. She read it according to the application. Did she reply? No. Ouch. If she didn't reply, I'm 100% sure she bailed. She's not coming. I believe Miss Myrtle here is right. Hmm. <laughs> That was... We are pretty objective people. But somehow Earth's vagueness has taught us a new kind of feeling. Has this happened before? Many times. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. But it might be a sign that you need to change your strategy. Earthlings use strategies to breed? Most complicated strategies, in fact. Your kind never ceases to amaze us. If that is the case, then we need not be here anymore. You can stay if you like. No, it's okay. We need to report back immediately. But we will visit this place again in future. You have a very nice place, owner. Please, just, just call me Xander. Thank you for your time, Xander. And thank you for your input also, Miss Myrtle. We will definitely study the breeding strategies of Earth. <laughs> sure, sure. And it, it's called norm, by the way, the uh, breeding norms. Although you can use strategy as the keyword. We will keep that in mind. Okay, then we are off. Now, you take care on your way. You take care on your way. Goodbye, sir. What is with the vibe here? That's, oh boy, who the hell was that? Oh, hi there, Freya. What is an astronaut doing in this coffee shop? Uh, drinking and waiting for their friend, apparently. What kind of friend? L uh, like of the dog? A date from a dating app. <laughs> I should have been there. It's the space dog. <laughs> what does that date look like? The date didn't show up. Ouch. Poor astronaut. Well, why didn't they remove the astronaut suit first before going on the date? I mean, showing off is you're pretty much. Uh, I mean, showing off your job is pretty common. But it doesn't have to be, like, that literal, you know? I don't think they're an astronaut. Not in the usual sense. Uh, what do you mean? I think they might be an, an alien. An alien? Like Englishman in New York alien or alien alien? Like alien alien. Outer space, probably. Or other dimensions, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Wow. Like, super wow. I mean, I know you get a lot of different visitors here, but, wow. <laughs> Life is never boring here. That's what I'm writing about. Oh yeah, and how's it going so far? The, the writing? Yeah, the writing, how's it going? With a capital T and W. It's going pretty well, actually. May I see it? Ah. Uh... Um, what do you mean? Can I read the draft you've written so far? No, please don't. Why? It's not good enough. Hey, be more confident in your work. You're a good writer. I know you can do it. All of the all of the aspiring writers in chat, you can fucking do it. I believe in you. 
all of you. I'm doing a stream next week, actually, where I'm doing a, a like, writing 101 stream. Because in case anyone doesn't know, I actually got, like, a degree. Part of my degree is in writing and writing scripts. So I figured I'd kind of, like, do a little a little writing 101 to, like, give you guys some, some potential pointers or see if there's... Or if you're, like, a veteran, there might be some good tips that you can take away. You know, make sure that the degree I got was actually, like, partially wor worth something. Though that might be good. That might be good. You know, I don't normally do educational content, but I thought I'd give it a try. See how that goes. <laughs> besides, it, but yes, uh, besides, if you're not that confident with it, maybe you could, I could share some feedback. I, you're right. I actually prepared a printout for the draft. So you're planning to show it off all along? Yeah, I wasn't sure about it. But it's the first presentable draft anyway. Oh, come on, I know the drill. And I'm pretty familiar with your stuff. All right, all right. Let me get it out of my bag. I'll be honest with your feedback. I will. Now, will you hand it over? Teacher. You realize I'm going to make so many teacher jokes during that stream. Maybe I can find a little, a little like, teaching hat asset for it. I can get, like, the little, the little teacher's cap. That would be good. It's okay, Freya. Here it is. Thank you. Now. Let's see. How was it? How was it? Oh, let me read it at my own pace. Come on, Freya. Let me do my thing. <gasps> hmm. What's wrong? Is it that bad? The main character. Oh my, is the character badly written? I don't think the character suits my personality. That's because you're not the inspiration. Too bad. You have a prime example standing in front of you every day. Yes, main character. Prime example? You? You're like the most mysterious person I've ever met. <gasps> Wait, I think someone's coming. Uh, the, hey, the draft. I'm not done yet. Let me, I'm holding on to it for you. <gasps> Sludge? <gasps> oh, fish person. Welcome. What would you like to drink or take away, miss? Uh, here, please. Uh, what would you like? Um, or maybe you'd like to sit down first before deciding. Um, I'll order right away. No need to hurry. Take your time. <laughs> Is it okay if I order something a bit complicated? You can order whatever you like. As long as we have the ingredients, I'll make it. If that's the case, um... Do you know masala chai? The tea with spices? I just made one! I literally just made one for the spaceman that was in here. I can do that. I'd like to order a masala chai, please, then. Easy, easy. So we got some tea... Then we got some cinnamon, some ginger. Then we got some some cinnamon. I I I got you, bestie. I got you, bestie. She reminds me of Futaba. She does. There you go. There's a masala chai. I believe this was the drink you were talking about. <laughs> From the look of it, I think so. Let's give it a taste. This. Is it bad? Is it bad? I'm so sorry if it's bad. I'm so so sorry if it's bad. No, no. It's really good. It just brought back memories. I hope they're good ones. Though they certainly are. They certainly are. Huh? Uh, where were we? The main, the main character. The main character feels very... You. You bet? Oh, it's... It... Bitch, did you write a self-insert for your first novel? Did you... Is your first novel, you as a self-insert? Because I swear down, okay? She... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't with her. I... I... I can't with her sometimes. I... Listen, I know she's like the first character we spoke with, right? But like, look, I'm not bashing self-inserts in general, right? But is that the play necessarily that you want to do for your first big writing contract? Do you want the main character on your first big writing contract to be a self-insert? Do you want that? Because you are putting yourself in a very specific pigeonhole with that, right? And it might not be a very smart choice. 
I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying, think that through just a tiny bit. Just think, think that just a tiny bit through. Do you, do you see what I'm going with there? Do you, do you see your first big writing contract and, and the main characters are self-insert? Like, it has the capacity to go kind of wrong. They'll notice right away. Oh, is that okay? Sure, why not? It sounds so narcissistic. Don't worry about it. They won't notice it unless they know me personally. And having the main character think like me makes it easier to write. If you say so. Uh, sorry. Hmm? Did you say something? Yes. Sorry for interrupting. Are you a fiction writer? Yes, I am. That sounds so cool. Well, yeah, but I only write small-scale fiction. Short stories for the newspaper. Or non-fiction short stories about people in this town. <gasps> She's writing a novel right now, you know? In fact, I was just reading the draft for it. Hey! Oh, wow. How many books have you written? Oh, well, this would be my first book. I, I just... I If I finish it. I've always wanted to be a fiction writer. But... Conjuring words is hard. I'm a writer. And even if I use complicated words like conjure, like you just did, I can't even use complicated words like conjures use, but a lot of people have said my vocabulary is uncommon. Oh, what do you do? Uh, what, what's your name again? Oh, pardon me. My name's Aqua. Oh, nice. Do we have her on? Oh, wow. We're adding every... Aqua. R&D student at a university in Seattle. Researcher by day, aspiring indie dev by night. Interesting. Hide, supermod. God damn. God damn. God damn. Okay, I'm. I could spend all day on Hide's page. Rachel Aqua. Hide. Lua. Oh gosh, is that French? Favorite things. Lover of bright moonlight. Believer in life without f a fight. Big fan of art and poetry. Working nine to five. Okay, Lua. All right, anyway. <clears throat> My name's Aqua. I mean, we know Hyde's a model, but he just looks so good in his profile picture. Uh, hi, Aqua. I'm Freya. And the barista here is Xander. Uh, greetings, Miss Aqua. Nice to meet you. So yeah, what, what, what do you do? Um, I'm a researcher at the university. I also make games in my free time. Hey, that's even cooler than my job, you know? <laughs> Thanks. You said you can't write, but research papers need a lot of writing skills, don't they? Indeed. It's descriptive writing, though. Not narrative writing. Uh, what kind of fields are you researching, by the way? I focus on computer graphics. Whoa. It involves a lot of calculations and boring stuff. Not something the media would cover, I guess. It wouldn't attract many readers. Oh my! I forgot you're a journalist! I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> Come on, you don't have to worry so much about everything. It's alright. See, these two, everyone here is cute. Myrtle, Myrtle, get in on the conversation. I feel like these three would make really good friends. They'd make a good little friend group. Excuse me for interrupting. Yes? You said you're a researcher in computer graphics, right? That's right. Did you write a paper on the latest fluid rendering technique for 3D environments? I believe one of the contributors is also named Aqua. Oh my, yes, that's me. Did you read it? I did. It's pretty important for the project we're working on. Uh, if I may, what kind of project is that? It's a video game series called Full Metal Conflict. God damn! Do we just... All the best people come to my bar. Are you kidding me? You work on FMC? Oops. I'm sorry. I got a bit too excited all of a sudden. And don't be. It's nice when you meet someone who likes uh, the thing you worked on. I love that series so much. Uh, my name's Aqua, by the way. Uh, but you already knew that. Yeah, my name's Myrtle. My name's Myrtle. Aqua and Myrtle? 
Aqua and Myrtle? Yeah. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm the I feel like in this in this coffee shop AU I'm currently living. I'm literally just the coffee shop owner slash barista that's try that constantly trying to set up his customers. Um, what do you do on the project? I'm one of the technical artists. Ah, oh, no wonder. Yeah, I, I don't want to intrude on your discussion any further. But can I ask for your business card or something? Me and some friends have something we want to discuss. Uh, we submitted queries through your department's contract form, but we haven't received any replies. Oh, yes, that happens a lot. The form sends queries to another department, and sometimes it takes them a bit to respond. Pardon us for that. No, of course, I should have expected that. I don't have my card with me right now, but, um, we can swap email addresses if you want. <gasps> okay. Sure. Here's my email. Yep, got it. This uh, Full Metal Conflict series you two are talking about, is that the same series that's getting a movie adaptation soon? Yep, that's the one. To be honest, I hated the idea of turning the game into a movie. Nonetheless, Hollywood. <laughs> they have the budget for flashy visuals, but I doubt they'll do the series any justice. Oh, why? Well, because some games tell their stories in a unique way, and some stories can only be told through this medium, and FMC is no exception to that. Interesting. Do you play video games? Well, not much. I usually just play weird, obscure art games. You know, the type of games you might see in an art gallery. <laughs> really? That's weird. You're not the first to say I'm weird. It's not that. It's just usually people that play arty games are gamers that got bored of the current state of video games. That's true. Why is this so meta? We're talking about games in a game in a game. We're talking about games in the state of gaming and an arty game in the state of gaming. It, I feel like while I'm streaming an arty game in the state of gaming, we're, we're very we're very meta right now. I believe, I believe art games cater to a whole different market compared to the mainstream games. Hence, a lot of the players are not gamers. They're more accessible to play, but harder to perceive. Understanding them requires a whole different level of many things. Um, sorry, I've rambled on for too long, but at least that's what I think. A good point. Yeah, that was a really good perspective. I love how everyone just turns around and immediately starts praising the perspective that that, that, that matches this game's development. I love that. I love that. <laughs> I think those kind of, uh, I play those kind of games thanks to the people I hang out with. Uh, yeah, you got the look of an artsy hipster, you know? Nailed it. So, you understand my point about the adaptation, right? Uh, kinda. Anyway, I need to go back. I'll email, email you first thing tomorrow about our question. Oh wait, what time is it? Oh my, I also need to go home. We can walk to the bus stop together if you want. I hope that doesn't bother you, Miss Myrtle. Uh, just Myrtle's fine. And of course it won't bother me at all. <gasps> These two. These two. Go on. Go on. Go on. Get, get out of here, you scamps. Shall we go now? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go, go, go. Don't, don't thank me. Thank, don't, don't, don't thank us. Get out of here. Good luck with the writing. Yeah, fine. Okay. You take care on your way, okay? Will do. See you around, folks. Please be careful on your walk. So... Yes. That was a nice talk. But you haven't given me proper feedback for the draft yet. And I could see that you're reading it off and on. Oh, uh, well, it's kind of good. Seriously? That's it? I'm not an editor. I don't know how to say things. Did you expect me to have a list of notes for you? Yes. Really? You're mysterious. That much is true. But I've been a regular here for a while. I recognize the expressions you're making as you read it. And you have a lot of comments, right? Admit it. Okay, okay, you've got me. But this won't be short. And I will be really honest about it. Gulp. Well, the night is young. Bring it on. Okay. Let's start at the beginning. I love how we just spend a whole thing just trashing her, her little book. We just spend the entire time just trashing her little novel. Uh, I'm glad they're doing good, though.
You're the one voicing everything? Amazing. I'm late. Yeah, yeah, I do the, I do the funny voices. But on that note, here we go. Ah, nice. Here we are. Here we are. Thank you, everyone. I feel like that's a good stopping point for Coffee Talk this evening. It has been really awesome getting to play it with all of you. And of course, I really enjoyed getting to do more visual novel hijinks. They're one of my absolute favorite things, you know? I love the visual novels. I love getting to voice everything. I always find it really fun getting to voice visual novels for everyone, simply because visual novels have such a nice... um eclectic style, you know? But Coffee Talk was fun. It was relaxing, it was chill. Uh, I liked making the drinks. Honestly, the drinks are probably some of the most fun. I love making the drinks. They, they, they really stand out to me. But of course, of course, as always, as always, thank you all for coming out to today's stream. I hope you all have a lot of uh, fun. I will be back tomorrow with, with, Fall guys, okay? So things are happening a little... Oh, bibbidi bibbidi bum, thank you for the super. Much love, much love. This was such a lovely stream. Thank you, thank you. Now, I have to say, I will be back tomorrow at uh, slightly earlier than my usual time with Fall guys. Now, it's going to be the big Merryweather competition and I will be streaming my POV as well as, as well as, then after the Merryweather competition, I will be playing Fall guys with the chat after the competition. So I'll be playing in the in the big tournament that's happening. And then after the tournament, we're going to be doing games together. So all of you get your copies of Fall Guys downloaded. Be ready. We'll go and do that. And the same night, because it's Friday night on, on Friday, would you believe? Crazy. Uh, we're going to be doing Friday night drinks. So I'm going to be having some drinks. We're going to be zatsuing. I haven't done a single zatsu this week because of the way things have gone. So I thought that sitting, talking, and just having a little bit of fun as I enjoy the old the old bit of lemon vodka might be a really chill way of doing things. So until then, much love. I will catch you all very, very soon. And I hope you all look after yourselves. And uh, yeah, I will see you when I see you. I see you, see you when I see you. <laughs> all right, get out of here, you little scamps. Go, shoo, shoo, shoo. Much love, much love. <laughs> Go, shoo. <laughs>